So I'm guessing you're new to the hobby and you're looking for some fish that are pretty easy to breed because you want to start breeding fish in your aquarium. Now, in this video, I'm gonna give you guys my top five easiest fish to breed, in my opinion, uh, and this is through all my personal experience, so make sure you stay around to the end to see all the fish that I have to show you. Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to Keep the Fish Simple. So in this week's video, I'm gonna give you guys my top five easiest fish to breed in the aquarium hobby, in my opinion. Now, this is just my personal opinion. Don't take this to heart. Um, if you don't agree with this list, uh, leave a comment in this comment section below and tell me what you actually think. But this is just all from my personal experience in the past five years of keeping fish. So make sure you stay around to the end of the video to listen to all the fish that I have to show you and I'm sure you're gonna enjoy this video. Also, if you're new to the channel and you haven't already seen some of my content, I make lots of aquarium related information videos as well as entertaining ones, so please consider subscribing. Also, feel free to join the Facebook group in the description below. Uh, I started it up about a year ago and we've been growing that ever since. Uh, there's about 600 members in there at the moment and we're all sharing a bunch of information about the aquarium hobby and just helping all you new beginners out there and trying to make this hobby as easy as possible. So make sure you go and check that out and you go join that group. Um, and if you have any questions about it, the aquarium hobby, I'm sure there's plenty of experienced aquarists in there that will be able to answer your questions. So make sure you guys go and check that out. All right, without any further ado, let's get started on the video. All right, so number five is a bristlenose pleco. Now, a lot of people don't know that this is one of the easiest fish to breed in the aquarium hobby, especially beginners, because um, when you buy them from your chain pet stores like Petco and PetSmart and all that, they're very expensive. Now, the truth is you can get these very, very cheap from breeders off of Craigslist and Gumtree in Australia and they breed prolifically. Now I've got a bunch of bristlenose plecos in the uh, aquarium down here and they breed like crazy. So basically all you need to breed a bristlenose pleco is a cave because they like to breed in caves. Now uh, you'll have one dominant male in the aquarium and a bunch of females and the dominant male will decide uh, which cave he's going to choose and he'll go in there and he'll protect that cave and he'll lure a female in and the females will go in and they'll lay their eggs and the male will take care of the eggs until they are free swimming fry. Now, these guys breed like crazy. Um, my tank is absolutely full of them and I'll show you a couple of videos here of the fry. Um, they're absolutely adorable and cute and these are really good fish to have if you've got multiple aquariums because if you've got them breeding in one tank, you can transfer them to other tanks, all the babies and stuff, and they are really, really good algae eaters. So the bristlenose pleco is my number five for the easiest fish to breed. All right, so my number four is the molly. Now the molly, I haven't had a lot of experience with. I've never been too attracted to them because they're just a bloated version of the platy kind of. Um, I know that these guys are live bearers and they breed like crazy. They're, um, because they're a live bearer, they give birth to live young. So they breed uh, quite prolifically. They'll breed about once a month. They give birth to about, I think it's like five to 40 fry. And if you've got multiple females in there, they will be making lots and lots of babies. And um, it's not that the molly is a bad fish, just in my opinion, I don't like them too much, but I know a lot of people out there love the molly. So feel free to go and uh, put them in your community aquarium too. And I'm guaranteeing you they will breed. Uh, you don't need to give them any special diet. You just need to give the fry plenty of hiding spaces like any other live bear, and they will um, prolifically breed and give you lots and lots of little baby fish. All right, so number three on the list is the convict cichlid. Now, the convict cichlid is something that I've never touched in my life. I've not been interested in cichlids as such. Uh, I might get into cichlids a bit later. I like the dwarf cichlids, but the convict cichlid is a crazy prolific breeder. Now, the convict cichlid is an egg layer. They like caves like the bristlenose plecos, but they like a cave like these shells that I have up here. And basically, uh, you'll get a male and a female, put them in an aquarium, uh, you don't even need to feed them anything special and they will just have babies like crazy. And these guys take care of their babies. Um, they will eat their babies at the start, but they will take care of them eventually. Uh, they're an awesome fish uh, to look at. I mean, they're called convict cichlids because I've got lines on them and it looks like a jail. So they look like convicts. And um, I, I'm not a big fan of the convict cichlid, but I know a lot of people are. So um, they wouldn't go well in a community aquarium because they are quite aggressive, I've heard. Um, but they're an awesome fish if you want to just start breeding something crazy. All right, so number two easiest fish to breed in the aquarium hobby, in my opinion, has got to be the platy. Uh, I've keep, kept platy since the very start, and like any other live bearer, these guys are super, super easy to breed. You don't need any special dietary requirements. You don't need any um, extra maintenance. You just need to change the water once a week, give them some flake food, and they will have babies. Uh, platies are an awesome fish. They come in tons of different colors, like there's blue platies, there's orange, yellow, you name it, there's just platies everywhere. You can get them pretty much in any city. Um, and the platies breed so much that it's actually become a problem in a lot of Mexican lakes. 
because they breed like crazy and uh, overpopulate the lakes. So I love platies because they look so cool, but that is my number two uh, on the list is the platy. All right, so I bet you guys have already guessed my number one if you've been following my channel for a while, but it's got to be the guppy. Now, the guppies are absolutely my favorite fish in the aquarium, hobby. Um, they have heaps and heaps of color, and I love their long streamlined bodies, but guppies are super easy to breed. All you need is a male and a female, and you will have babies. So the male uh, is pretty easy to distinguish. Males have lots and lots of color, and females are quite dull, like the ones you'll see up here. Females are quite round too, and basically you chuck these guys in an aquarium with a bit of water, and the females will start to become very brangadin, and, um, and their stomachs will become very, very fat, and they will have lots and lots of babies. They give birth to about three to 50 babies, at a time. Um, massive females that are quite old will give birth to like up to like 100 babies, I've heard in the aquarium hobby. And they're an awesome fish. Uh, they come in heaps of colors. Uh, a lot of people pure breed them and you can breed them for profit too if you know how to do that. I've got a video on that as well. I might link that down below. And they are just an awesome fish to keep. Um, I think you guys already would have known that um, I would have chosen the guppies as number one, but uh, if you've got a community aquarium, they go really, really good in that and they'll have heaps and heaps of babies. And if you've got kids, you're setting up in a tank for your children, they're an awesome fish because uh, they provide such a good spectacle for little kids to see tiny little uh, itty bitty cute fry swimming around in the tank. So that pretty much sums up the video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Um, you guys have been giving me heaps of support lately and the channel's been growing like crazy. Um, and I really appreciate all the support you guys give me. Um, if you guys want to go check out my store down below, I've got a uh, discount code for you guys to go and buy some of the cool products on there if you want. Uh, feel free to do that. And also, um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.